Hello, and welcome to Tranksec Studios' second review on Gary's Mod. Now, Gary's Mod is an amazing game for me. Like, I can express my creativity and imagination in one game with a million choices. Some of the positive things in this game are the choices, of course, with props. There's a lot of props and tools, and there's a lot of tools, such as welding, elastic rope, things like that. Now, there is even more props that you can get on garysmod.org www.garysmod.org and you can download the add-ons there's not just props and tools but there's NPCs there's models there is maps there is everything you can look for and new things just keep coming and that's why I love this game um... there is it's built on the uh, Half-Life 2 engine, I believe, but I think it might have been switched to... No, that was just Steam was stiff, switched to Left 4 Dead, but it was built on the Half-Life engine, which, you, if you play Gary's Mod, you can see if you start it off, you have all the weapons of Half-Life in your... Well, all the main weapons of Half-Life in, uh, in your inventory or weaponry, including the crowbar, which everyone loves. Now, I just love this game, and I really think that everyone out there should get it and play it because there is no objective. It's just create and try out, and it's funny, so funny at times, but it's also so creative and smart at other times. So I give Gary's Mod a 10 out of 10, except... That would have been my original mark. My original rating. There's something I thought of. Gary's mod has some bad parts. The, um... Sometimes you get a lot of server errors, just from this little thing. And sometimes you wouldn't have good connection. Plus the single player isn't as good as multiplayer. But, there, it's most of all, it is extremely good. So I'm only going to take .5 marks off of that. So I give it a 9.5 out of 10. So I really suggest that everyone out there go and get Gary's Mod and play it. Thank you for watching this video.